Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Push that subscribe button if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. This is our first Go Fish Cam video. Super excited about being able to use this Go Fish Cam to see what it looks like here in our waters in Flagler County. As you can see, I'm tossing this camera out here and I'm tossing it really close. So this first little bit of footage, you're gonna see a lot of the wave action. You're gonna see sand getting pushed uh, back and forth over the top of this camera. We are gonna make some adjustments. As I mentioned, this is the first time using this. So uh, we're learning a lot through this process. But before we get into seeing the fish that we saw on this trip, um, if you want me to take a look underwater at maybe a beach or a pier or something somewhere in Flagler, Volusia, or St. John's counties, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know where you would like to see underwater footage. We're going to be getting this close to Flagler Pier as close as possible without getting it stuck on anything because uh, I really, really want to see what fish are down there at Flagler Pier. Now I can't get on top of the pier to drop it straight down so we'll be going from the beach uh, but it still should look pretty cool. So here we are coming to our first fish that we see and you can see it came right over the top. We slowed that down and I believe this is a spot fish. We'd been catching some spot fish. It was fighting like one and even though we can't really see that spot, I'm going to slow it down here a couple places where we see this fish, but he got hooked up on the line and I started reeling it in here and in a minute we'll start reeling, but we'll see this fish keeps coming into view, keeps coming into the picture off to the side. Uh, I did not have my line tight. I didn't realize that we needed to have it tight in order to see the fish better. So we can see him coming across here and we see he's hooked up and he's fighting now. So I believe this is on top of the water where I'm starting to see. Here we go, he's coming into the view again. I've slowed this down in a couple places so you can see him better. Um, there's his tail. So definitely not a pompano, that's not a pompano tail. Here in a minute, I'm gonna start reeling. I think it's right about here. I'm realizing, okay, something's definitely on this line. Here we go, it's coming up to the shore and he popped off right before I got it up to the shore. So we lost that fish and I'm gonna bring it back to my cart here. We're gonna bait it up again and we're gonna get it thrown right back out into the water. Here it goes in there again. Here's our next fish that we see. Coming into view, slowed that down. Definitely another spot fish. You can see that spot on the sides. You can see a little bit of those lines on there too. Here's our next fish. This is my favorite one. We see this curious little guy coming in view. We had a light on because the water's murky and I believe this is a palometta. We started catching palometta. They came through schools of palometta and this guy's even got a little buddy with him. But I'm gonna play that again so you can see up close. Here's his little friend. Look at his top fin. That's how I know it's a palometta and it's not a pompano. That top fin is coming back a little bit longer. So here we go, the next fish that we see. There's our next fish right on the side there. Kind of hard to see, but he spins around. Looks like he's probably looking down at our bait. I believe that is an Atlantic bumper because we were also catching Atlantic bumper, like those schools were coming through as well. And we're gonna see him here again, that or another fish down the left side of the screen. Really quick through, look at that tail. Very skinny, very yellow tail. We know for sure that is a Atlantic bumper from the look of that. Looks like another Atlantic bumper to me. I did a still shot here and it didn't get all of the tail, but it was skinny and yellow like the others. Now we're gonna cast this out again and we're casting it into deeper waters. I wanted to get it out deeper to see where, you know, if it would stop getting so much of the wave action. And we didn't have as many waves, but what we found is that we also didn't have very many fish uh, in the camera anymore. So all of those fish that we're seeing, those were up in close 
and further out we were not seeing any fish in those zones at all that day. But thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you watching. Can't wait to do more of these underwater videos. But for now, tight lines. God bless and we'll see you.